Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. We begin our tour of what is seldom important in web handling by talking about gravity. By seldom, I mean it is important to read the fine print, just in case you are one of the exceptions. Gravity is so important in everyday life that we tend to transfer that common experience into web handling into the many cases where it seldom matters. The first example we consider is sag in the web. Yes, the web sags due to gravity. This is guaranteed by the laws of physics. These physics and example calculations are given on page 21 of my roller book. Still, don't read too much into this. If you look at the physics, you see that tension determines sag, not the other way around. In other words, unless you have loops of material where the sag is similar or greater than the span length, gravity just doesn't matter. In other words, for 99.999% of you out there, gravity does not matter with regard to sag. It is true that gravity affects fluids such as coating in a coating pan. If you tip the pan even a tiny bit, you have a mess. It is true that gravity affects gases such as hot air that goes up easier than down. It is true that gravity affects machine design such as the sizing of bearings and rollers and cylinders and frames. However, none of this is web handling per se. If you have a well-designed machine, you can unbolt it from the floor and you can bolt it sideways on the wall and it might work just fine. If you have a well-designed machine, you can unbolt it from the wall and bolt it upside down on the ceiling and it also might work just fine. So what is the fine print here? Rollers that are the building blocks of our machine must be designed to keep deflection at bay as we learned in Module 4 of Web 101. These sizing equations are outlined in my roller book with worked out examples. They are even more conveniently given on the free, fast, and easy roller bending calculator by Abbott App. Another bit of fine print has to do with tension. Running a machine mounted sideways on the wall will not affect web path, provided that there is tension, as every good web handler would want. We learned in Module 2 of Web 101 that web path is determined not by gravity, but by the normal entry law. The fine print here is if you let the tension off, then sag due to gravity is going to show up in a big way. This should only be a challenge during threading, as a good machine should not let tension go slack, even on a normal stop. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned as we continue our tour of what seldom matters by talking about speed.